Hey everybody, guess what? Today is my anniversary. 23 years with my best friend. And he's our guest today. We're gonna talk to one of my favorite actors and the love of my life, Scott Whitehurst. Hey honey. So do you too. How's it feel to be married 23 years? It feels awesome. It's an, it's an accomplishment. It's I a think really so. Good one. It's a really good one? Mm -hmm. Good. So when you said I do 23 years ago, what things are just as you imagined and what things are different? Nothing is as I imagined. Because uh, I didn't know the, the depth that we would go to, mm -hmm. the lengths that we would go to and what we would achieve. So there's no way to, uh, some which have turned out to be true. And there are things that I imagined that didn't happen at all and shouldn't have happened because they were childish. Really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you're the co-head of the acting MFA program at New York's New School of Drama. Um, what are some things you tell your students to keep them motivated and focused as actors? Uh, so I have a catchphrase I say to them all the time, uh, stay encouraged, mm -hmm. which I think of as intentional, mm -hmm. uh, as a choice for artists. I think a lot of times we're very practiced at being uh, downtrodden, uh, bottom of the barrel, I'm having the worst day ever, and that worst day lasts for a year. I think that we're not very good, young artists and older artists, uh, at being intentional about being encouraged, about the glass half full, and being thankful there's a glass at all. Wow. Which is what we do right. at the White Marvin Group. Exactly. Right. Encourage artists. Exactly right. So we often say, um, we don't often say it's sort of our our brand, our motto that you are an artist. Um, you and I pretty much said that from the day that we met that we were artists. Mm -hmm. But why is it important for actors, singers, dancers, um, painters, why is it important for people to affirm that they are artists as opposed to performers? Um, why should they say they are artists? Uh, the way you and I were both trained the same way, uh, we both studied the Meisner technique, we both had the same teacher, William Esper. And Bill used to say, um, it takes 20 years to become an artist. It takes 20 years of actively uh, pursuing your craft, as, as you said, a painter, a dancer, a singer, an actor, to achieve that level of master artist. And it's aspirational when we use the phrase, you are an artist. Mm -hmm. um, we want people to think of themselves in a more vocational manner than just this is the activity I'm involved in. Mm -hmm. This is the doing that I'm, that I'm involved in at the moment. It's short-sighted if you don't think of yourself as an artist. And more importantly, though there's entertainment value to being a singer, a dancer, a, a painter, artists have impact. Mm -hmm. Artists have um, long careers mm -hmm. that touch the hearts and minds of people. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what we're after when we're saying we're and there's also skill that's required to be an artist. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome, my husband. We had some. <laughs> we had some really lean times in the beginning of our marriage. We did. Yeah. I mean, getting a bag of grapes was a luxury for us <laughs> back in the day. But neither one of us gave up. We're no. still actors today. We're still artists today. Right. You worked three and four jobs to keep us afloat. I'll sure. never forget it. Sure. What was your motivation and, and what would you say to other husbands who are artists, who are dreamers, who are trying to care for their families too? Care about and love with all your heart. I don't think that's a burden. In some ways, I think it's a privilege, um, but it certainly is part of the wedding vows that we both took and said, you know, for rich or poor, in sickness and in health, I think a lot of times we don't listen to the other side of it. They don't they listen to the side that's more appealing. Uh, but you don't you don't give up on your best friend, and sometimes best friends are sick. That's just part of life. That's part of the journey. 
So Scott, what role does um, faith play in your artistry, in your life as an artist? I think the current or the water that floats the boat. Mm. I think that we always thought of our work as ministerial and that that ministry uh, had resonance and it's, the, it's the, the sinews and the muscles that actually do the work yes. uh, for, our, for our vocation. Yes. Wow, that's good. Good stuff, Mr. Whitehurst. So I hear artists say all the time that I will never marry another artist. Dancers, I'm, I would never marry another dancer. How does it work for us? Why do you think it worked for us? When people say these things, artist and dancer in that particular case is a catchphrase for selfish person, self-involved person. I think a person, no matter what they do for a living, shouldn't marry a self-involved or selfish person because you're not in a partnership, obviously. Mm. I was very uh, aware I was not marrying a selfish or self-involved person. But I was also aware I was marrying someone that I could have a conversation with about what I did and what my wife did, that we could share experiences on a very deep level. I don't know why artists can't marry artists when many times doctors marry doctors, attorneys marry attorneys, Mm. Architects marry architects, goes on and on and on. Right. So I think what people are saying is I don't want to be involved with someone who is as equally selfish as I am. <laughs> uh, that's my that's my guess. Mm -hmm. I, that wasn't a fact. There was nothing for us to really overcome. I also think lastly is Whomever you marry your partner with or share your life with, I think they, their dreams should be more important than your dreams. Mm. I really believe that you should do everything you can to help your partner or your spouse achieve and fulfill their dream and their destiny. I think that's part of being a partner. And so it's odd to me that, you, that a person would say, I would marry someone and because I'm have issues with their dream or I have issues with because their Because they do what I do. Or because they do what I do or because they're involved in my business. I, that's mm -hmm. odd to me. Yeah. That's odd. What would you say about uh, competition? That if you marry someone that is an artist that there would be competition. How do you feel about that? See, that's uh, to me, that's the same thing. I think mean, mm -hmm. that's a spirit issue. Mm -hmm. That's a temperament issue. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you would be competing with someone whose achievement, dreams, whose uh, the fulfillment of all the things that they were brought to the world to be happens for them. I, I don't know why that would make you your happiest as opposed to why that would upset you or unsettle you. Mm. Uh, the joke I always said is, well, I would look really funny in Sugar Avery's dress. <laughs> so why would I be competing with Angela? Mm -hmm. But that's... I love you, man. I love you back. Happy anniversary. Very happy anniversary. Okay, so at this... You know that I'm a little weepy. I'm a crybaby anyway, so... <sighs> happy anniversary, my sweet happy baby. Happy anniversary, sweet wife. Thank mm. you, guys. He's the best. <laughs>